What's going on guys, welcome to my video. Today we're going to be talking about the Demon Hunter class, uh, specifically in PvP. And uh, if you've been following my channel, um, you know that this season I've been focusing a lot on my Death Knight. You know, we got him to 2k rating. Um, I'm, I've also gotten my Hunter to 2k rating. And this season, I definitely wanted to give uh, my Demon Hunter a shot as well to see what I can do. And I'm actually really, really surprised by how much fun this class is in PvP, uh, specifically in arenas. So today uh, I'm going to be showing you a couple of different things. Um, basically, we're going to be looking at talents. We're going to be looking at honor talents. Uh, and also I'm going to be showing you some 2v2 uh, ranked arena gameplay so you can kind of see you know what the class is all about so let's go ahead and get started guys alright guys welcome back so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the talents that we're using for uh, arenas this season on our demon hunter so for the first tier we're going to be taking Fellblade um, the reason why I'm taking it is because it gives me a little bit more mobility and it also uh, actually does proc a lot in arenas and uh, it also does some damage as well which in arenas you can never have enough damage uh, so it causes a nice amount of uh, pressure. Um, second tier we're going to go with prepared because it lowers the cooldown on our vengeful retreat and it also generates 40 runic power or 40 uh, fury uh, over five seconds. Um, this tier here uh, basically I'm taking bloodlet and I see some people taking this uh, first blood but in arenas I kind of like to do a lot of cleave damage and because we're constantly using our uh, glaive throw, uh, basically this makes it so that it applies a bleed uh, on the target. And if the targets are stacked up and our glaive bounces from our main target to a secondary target, it applies a bleed effect, which actually does a significant amount of damage and actually does a lot of pressure uh, in arenas as well. Um, this tier here, we're going to go with Soul Rending because... Anytime that we go into metamorphosis, we basically get healed for any amount of damage that we do. And basically, um, having healing in arena is actually pretty good. It helps us uh, helps us keep on our target even if we're getting low. And if we're in metamorphosis, we're basically you know getting a little bit of healing from soul rending. Um, so it's a really good talent, and it's something that I uh, basically that I actually enjoy uh, taking. Um, in this tier right here, you can do two things. You can go with Nemesis um, if you're going to be focusing primarily on one target. So, for example, me uh, in 2v2 arenas, if I'm only focusing on a healer, then I'll just go ahead and put Nemesis because I know that I'm never going to get off the healer. Um, however, you can also take Momentum, which basically uh, gives you a 20% damage increase anytime you use Fell Rush or Vengeful Retreat. And as you know, as a Demon Hunter, we're constantly using Fell Rush and Vengeful Retreat. So it's a, it's basically a good talent as well. Um, this tier right here, I'm going to be taking Master of the Glaive because it gives our Glaive Throw uh, two charges instead of one. And because it also has really good synergy with Bloodlet. So uh, this tier right here, the only talent you want to go is basically with Master of the Glaive. And then lastly, we're going to be taking Fell Barrage. Um, because it does not only good single target damage, but if the targets uh, are stacked up together, it also does uh, a nice amount of AoE damage as well. Alright guys, next let's take a look at the honor talents. So for the first row, um, I think it's personal preference. You can definitely go with like Glider's Medallion um, or Adaptation. I personally go with Adaptation because... A lot of the times, or basically a lot of the CC that is out in the game right now uh, is like on a 45 to 1 minute cooldown and adaptation actually lines up pretty well with it. So it also makes it so that, you know, whenever you get CC and it uh, lasts longer than 5 seconds, it automatically procs. So you don't have to like spend another global trying to activate your medallion. Now one thing I will say is that I would not take adaptation against rogue teams because Blizzard has changed it so that it now actually procs uh, when you get sapped. And you definitely don't want this to be procking when you get sapped because then a rogue can just resap you and you just wasted you know, your adaptation. So definitely don't take this with 
uh, when you're facing rogue teams. Um, this tier here, you can go with reinforced armor. If you're going to be going up against, uh, you know, a spell cleave team, maybe like a mage or a warlock or a shadow priest, because it increases your health by 10%. Um, however, if you're going to be facing like a melee team, and you know for a fact that they're going to go on you, then you can take sparring. But otherwise, you can just go with reinforced armor. Um, this talent here is a no-brainer. Um, in 2v2s, you definitely want to just take Solitude uh, because it gives you an extra 15% damage and attack speed uh, gets increased by 15%. So it's a really good talent uh, to take. Um, in a 3v3 environment, you probably just want to take Cover of Darkness because it gives your team an extra bit of defense uh, against the enemy team. So it's really good in threes. But in twos, you just go Solitude. Um, this tier here, you can go with Unending Hatred if you're going to be facing a spell-heavy um, enemy team. Uh, otherwise, you can just go with, you know, Eye of the Authoras, which is actually uh, pretty good uh, to be, you know, to throw on like a healer or, uh, you know, even a, a spell caster. But it, I find that this talent is kind of underwhelming and you kind of have to pick your spots when to use it. This tier here, we're going to go with um, Demonic Origins is a no-brainer because it lowers the cooldown on metaphor, uh, Metamorphosis by 2 minutes. And also when you're not in Metamorphosis, it's going to increase your damage by 10%. And then lastly, this right here, this row here is really up to you guys. Um, I personally like to go with Detainment because it makes it so that my Imprison lasts an additional second. And also it makes it so that... Uh, damage cannot break the imprison anymore. So in 2v2s, I would definitely take this. Um, Rain from above, in my opinion, is really good talent for random battlegrounds. Uh, I wouldn't definitely, I would not take this in an arena environment. And then uh, of course you have mana break, which is also pretty good, although it's been nerfed a lot lately. Um, it's a one minute cooldown and basically makes it so that you know, if you're on an enemy healer and they're low on mana and need to finish them off, this is actually a really good finishing move. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. So today we took a look at our talents, we took a look at our honor talents, and now uh, let me show you the arena rating. So right now we're at 1906 rating. Our goal is to at least hit 2k so we can get that elite, you know, the uh, elite transmog set at the end of the season and uh, I don't think I'm going to push any higher than 2k guys it's not really worth it um, because I pretty much already have the achievements you know like uh, have 2200 and 2s and 2200 and 3s um, so it's not really worth going any higher than that because also the you know the gear isn't really all that great you know above 2k so uh, 2k is going to be our goal and um, in my next video I'm going to be um, showing you some 2v2 ranked arena matches so you guys can kind of see the uh how the demon hunter playstyle is um in ranked arenas so until then i'll talk to you guys later